We are currently treating this as a terrorist incident until we have further information. We are working closely with National Counterterrorism Policing Network and UK intelligence partners. This is clearly a very concerning time for everyone. We're doing all that we can, working with local and national agencies to support those affected. Good evening. A night of fun and music turned into an evening of terror for thousands of concert goers in Manchester, England. Police now investigating a possible suicide bombing at an Ariana Grande concert after an explosion left several people dead. Well, we were waiting the queue to leave the arena. Still inside the, the main stage on the arena, we had a massive explosion. It sounded like a big bang. This was the scene at Manchester Arena. As fans stampeded out of the concert venue moments after the lights had gone up. U.S. pop singer Ariana Grande had just finished her set around 10.30 local time in an arena that fits 20,000 people. Moments later, witnesses report hearing an explosion. This dashboard camera capturing the moment the blast went off in the distance. Like, to get out of the arena, there was, there was just bodies scattered about everywhere. And there was just blood and people's belongings on the floor. At least 20, 30 people on the floor, some that you could see straight off, were just, just dead. Police confirm 19 people have been killed and at least 50 more injured. Reports that the explosion happened just outside the concert area, near the venue's box office. A lot of people screaming. There were a lot of uh, little girls, obviously, because all the audience of Ariana Grande. Reps for Ariana Grande, who began the European leg of her Dangerous Woman tour earlier this month, confirmed the 23-year-old singer is safe. The incident is now being treated by police as a possible terror attack. I want to thank people for their support and would ask them to remain vigilant and if they have any concerns at all, to report them to the National Anti-Terrorist Hotline. Now, Facebook activated its check-in feature after the blast and Manchester Police have also provided a hotline for those trying to track down loved ones who were at tonight's concert.